Hi, this is Eric with Parts Doctor, and today we're going to show you how to replace the leveling leg on your Samsung dishwasher. The dishwasher's leveling legs is used to raise and lower the dishwasher. It can help to stabilize and balance the appliance as well as help it to fit the surrounding cabinetry. If the dishwasher's leveling leg is missing or damaged, the dishwasher may not remain stable or level. An unlevel dishwasher can cause water leakage and improper operation, leading to potential cleaning or draining issues. If you need to purchase a new leveling leg for your Samsung dishwasher, you can check our website, PartsSector.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. First, disconnect power to the dishwasher. If your dishwasher has a power cord, unplug the dishwasher. If your dishwasher is hardwired, you'll need to turn off power at the breaker before disconnecting the wires in the terminal box, which is located underneath the dishwasher. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink plumbing or garbage disposal. Then, feed the drain hose and power cord through the holes in your cabinet as far as they'll go. Next, turn off the water shutoff valve for the water supply line. Next, open the dishwasher's door and remove the screws securing the dishwasher to the countertop. If your dishwasher is side mounted, remove the screws from the cabinet, which may be located behind the cabinet seal or behind the plastic cap on the side of the dishwasher. You may need to lower the dishwasher's front leveling legs if it is too tight against the countertop. Now slide the dishwasher out from underneath the countertop, being sure to carefully feed both the power cord and drain hose through the holes in the cabinet. If your water line does not have enough slack in it to pull the dishwasher out, disconnect the water line from the house's plumbing and pull out the dishwasher. Or, if you're able to access the back of the dishwasher, use an adjustable wrench to disconnect the water inlet line from the dishwasher. For this repair, you may need to remove the front kick plate. Carefully flip the dishwasher onto its back on a soft surface to avoid scratching or damaging it. There are four leveling legs on this dishwasher. Using a needle nose pliers, rotate the leveling leg counterclockwise to remove the leg. If you need to purchase a new leveling leg, you can check our website, PartsFactor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure that you are searching with the model number from the tag on your dishwasher to make sure you are getting the correct part. For Samsung appliances, use the longer version of the model number listed on the tag, followed by a dash and then the version number if one is listed. For example, this dishwasher's full model number ends with a slash AA-00. To install, align the leveling leg to the base of the dishwasher's frame. Then, screw it clockwise to secure it in place. Next, flip the dishwasher back upright. Then, place a level on the inner tub of the dishwasher and adjust the height of the leg until the dishwasher is level. To reinstall, begin by installing the water inlet line to the back of the dishwasher. Or, if you have to disconnect the water inlet line from the house's plumbing, feed the water line through the bottom hole in the cabinet and reconnect it to the plumbing. With the dishwasher near the cabinet, feed the drain hose through the holes located towards the top of the cabinet and feed the power cord through the lower hole. Now, push the dishwasher back a few inches underneath the countertop and continue feeding the drain hose and power cord through the cabinet. Repeat until the dishwasher is in place. With the dishwasher's door open, align the holes in the mounting brackets with the pre-existing screw holes on the underside of the countertop or the screw holes in the cabinet if using the side mounting option. You may need to extend the dishwasher's front leveling legs to ensure a tight fit against the countertop. Then, reinstall the two mounting bracket screws. Reconnect the drain tube to the sink, plumbing, or garbage disposal. Now, plug in your dishwasher. If your dishwasher is hardwired, you'll need to reconnect the wires in the terminal box and restore power by flipping the breaker. And last, turn on the water valve. Finally, test the dishwasher and check for any leaks. That's it for today's video, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and for more videos like this, please consider subscribing.